Good humor, where are you? Oh, oh snap, oh. I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling it already. Roman Reigns, Macho Man Randy Savage. Here we go guys, let's go for Macho Man on this side. Let's hit it. Good humor. What? Oh snap, they're here. Wrestling Inc. just confirmed that Good Humor has officially released the WWE Superstar Cookie sandwiches to ice cream shops around the United States. So, they're saying that the WWE ice cream treats first appeared in some stores a few months back when they were announced, but the official rollout is this week, which was actually back on, let's see, April 1st. So I'm, a, I'm about a month and a half late, but guess what? The ice cream sandwiches are back! All right, so for those not familiar, WWE back in the 80s and 90s had many WWE, actually WWF at the time, superstars painted on their ice cream. It was a chocolate layer in the back with a chunk of ice cream in the middle with a sweet and sour cookie dough on the front which showed your favorite wrestler macho man randy savage lex luger hulk hogan bret hart all on the ice creams in their back all right good humor provides a website that allows you to input your zip code and it will let you know which stores have it in your area so currently we have a giant giant safeway and two more giants so i'm just going to go ahead and choose this giant on sudley road it's just three miles away my goodness and I'm telling you, this reminds me of just my childhood when, um, when I was a kid and I would ask my mom for a dollar. Yes, back in the late 80s, in the early 90s, these ice creams used to be a dollar. And I would say, can I get a dollar to go to the ice cream truck? And she would essentially say, get out of my face. But in the end, I prevailed. I walked around the town and looked for pennies on the floor, collected a dollar, and I would just give that change and say, here you go, ice cream man. I would like a WWF ice cream bar, and they would give it to me, and I tell you, that Macho Man Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan ice cream bar, oh my goodness. It didn't matter what who was printed on the ice cream, it's just, it was just that good. I'm telling you, cookie dough on the front, the ice cream in the middle, the chocolate on the back side, mmm, ang sarap, I'm telling you. So, I can't wait, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and shower up. I just woke up and I'm going to go on a search for this ice cream and I will tell you how it tastes. Let's do it, guys. Get out, get out. <laughs> ah. Driving in the Toyota Century. Oh, I'll save that for another day. Let's actually get some air in here. <sighs> So yeah, I promised to do a Toyota Century vlog um, a little later, but not now. Today, we're going to go get some ice cream. Alright guys, to give a little bit of context of what 
I am searching for. Originally, in 1987, Good Humor released the WWF ice cream bars. And I am so excited that they are back. I know, I know, they're not ice cream bars anymore. Now they're just ice cream sandwiches, but hey, can't always get what you want. So, back in 2008, Good Humor decided to discontinue at the time, I guess, were the WWE ice cream bars in 2008. So in 2011, WWE superstar CM Punk started the Summer of Punk and threw out a petition for WWE at the time to just go ahead and bring those ice cream bars back. And did they? No. I wish they would have because I can tell you the truth, I haven't had these WWF ice cream bars since I guess 1996. It's been a while and I'm telling you man, these ice cream bars are the best in the world. I said it, the best in the world so I'm on my trek my journey to go find them all right so back in the day the late 80s I, I remember back as, as, as early as 1989 man these ice cream bars were always a, over a dollar and they were so hard to come by because the ice cream um, trucks sometimes just wouldn't have it and then when they would have it, it'd always be a buck. And all the other ice creams would be 25 cents, 35 cents. Max 50 cents for the other ice cream sandwiches. But then as time went on, they became more rare, rare, and rare. And when they would come within the ice cream trucks, they would be $1.50, $1.75. It would just be too expensive. And I was still broke at the time. So... I decided to just stop buying it. Little did I know that eventually, in 2008, they would just completely discontinue and I'll never have a chance to taste the goodness ever again. But today's the day, as I woke up, I saw the article, even though it's an old article from April, that they are back in a sandwich form. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a mukbang taste of what this new WWE ice cream bar is all about. Follow me. Ha oh, ha, Miss Church. Man, this Corona, man. It's essential things like church that I need at this time. And I'm stuck to just watching it online, but it's okay. Overall, my church has been streaming online almost every day prayer every day shout out to the life church dc we love church instagram we love church youtube so um it helps but until then keep praising the lord at home and online where's the snow all right this is virginia guys listen what are we in may yeah it's pretty hot outside so I went ahead and put my windows up, stop being cheap, turn this AC on for once. I do like driving the Century, I can tell you. But the only thing I hate about the Century, 1992, man, it drinks gasoline like it's nobody's business, my goodness. So I have to be real selective in when I'm wanting to use this car, but I love it overall. I essentially get thumbs up almost every single day. So it's pretty cool. People want to know what it is, where it's from. You know, I tell them it's from Japan, but I always have to say, I gotta go, I gotta go, because they just want to know the whole history around it. So it's cool for the conversation, but sometimes you just want to get to where you're going. But other than that, I love driving this car. I tell you the truth, if this car was to break down right now, I would go back to Japan and get it again. That's how great it is. I love it. I love it. So, still making my way to Giant.
Ah, Giant Supermarket. So why am I going all the way to Giant Supermarket? Just for one sandwich of ice cream? Because it's essential, that's why. Let's park a little bit further away so people don't run into my car. Whoop. COVID-19, 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 I blow the wind of God. Ah. Hey, Jan. Woo. Am I protected? COVID-19. I think I got this. Ah. Nineteen. Gotta protect myself, guys. Don't wanna get that. Don't wanna get that. 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 Wanna get that. 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 Wanna get that. Cat go big. Wanna get that. Cat over here. That's right. So I'm not used to vlogging in Virginia, this is not my thing, but without me being able to travel, I need to provide you guys with some content. So here it is. How are you doing, sir? All right. All the way on that pole. I'm sorry, I can't hear you with the mask. But all the way to the end. At the end? Yes. Thank you. Alright, let me go to the back so they don't mess with me. COVID 19, COVID 19, COVID 19. Oh. Come in, get what I want, and I leave. Mmm, sandwiches. Good humor. Where are you? Oh, oh, snap. Oh, I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling it already. Roman Reigns. Macho man Randy Savage, the man who just announced that she's pregnant and she had to relinquish her title to Kanachan Asuka. I'm not gonna cut that stuff out. If I was a kid, I probably would have done that. But that's all. So, because I love them so much, look at this price $4.29 a yen. I am going to buy two just because I made it all the way down here. A yan, a yan, a yan. Let's get a thumbnail, probably. Possibly. Hey. The funny thing is, I'm actually smiling under this mask. So I'm like such an idiot. Why am I smiling and you can't even see me? WWE. All right. Let's get out of here. Before they try to mess with me for filming in the giant self checkout. I didn't even know they had self checkout at Giant. Only four characters John Cena, Macho Man, Becky Lynch, and Roman Reigns. Welcome. If you are a Scanit customer, please scan the barcode on your Scanit or Scanit mobile device. 429. Place your 429.
If you are finished scanning, please touch Finish and Pay. long process. What are you doing? What's taking this thing so long? Scott. What? I'm an idiot. Thank you, sir. You are to Please wait. System processing. Please follow the instructions on the pin pad. Money. 879. Thank you, sir. All right. To taste the goodness of this ice cream, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it at the cars. So this way it doesn't get all hot and melted. I want full taste of it. I don't know what to expect, but we'll see. Hello. Hello. All right. Always stopping to look at the whip. It's cool. When you don't want to buy iPod AirPods and you stick with the wired versions, this is what you deal with. Good eye, baby. Come on, man. Perfect for an iPhone commercial. You know what? I'll do this when I'm at home. What the heck? So this is the unboxing of the Good Humor Superstars WWE Cookie Sandwiches. I noticed the difference from before, that once again it's a sandwich instead of an ice cream bar. And it doesn't have the, the sourdough ch chocolate cream in the middle with chocolate on the side. So we're going to just have to go with what, it, what we have in front of us. I can see it's already about to melt, so I need to get this home quickly. So, he can't see me, but I can see him. We have John Cena on the front, and if we look to the side, to the back, we have Macho Man. I think that's pretty cheap. They never did that before. Before, it was always one character on, on both sides. Now, they're like, you know what? We're going to mix it up a little bit. I don't like that. But either way, whatever. The character doesn't matter, just eat the ice cream, right? Alright guys, here's my mukbang! Ayan! See, it's melting already. I need to hurry up and bring this stuff home. It's hot out here. Ah! I remember, I have a, a cooler in the back of this Toyota Century. I'll show you once I'm done. Alright. Here we go, guys. Let's go for Macho Man on this side. Let's hit it. Good humor. What are you doing? This is just a basic ice cream cookie sandwich. This is not a WWF WWE ice cream from 87 through 2008. It doesn't have that sweet sourdough cookie taste. It doesn't have the chocolate. It's not a crunch. It's just a basic ice cream sandwich. I took my cool shades off to tell you good humor. I am disappointed. I'm so disappointed, I don't even want to take another bite. But I will because I paid for it. I bought two packages. 
So, let's put this in the ice cream cooler chest. In the back of this 1992 Twitter century. Let's hope it fits. Ayan. It's like a magnet back here. Cool box. I don't think it's gonna fit. Some Japanese. Uh, if I try to put it in here, it's just gonna squish it. So, safe to say, I'll just go ahead and put it separately and leave the other one in the box. Just like that. Let's just hope I don't forget about this. Let's ride. Alright guys, thank you for joining me on this WWE ice cream bar hunt. Alright, sorry that it was a little bit disappointing, but in the end, I'm happy that they at least tried, but will I be buying it again? Oh no, I will not. So until then, I'll see you on my next vlog. I don't know what I'll be doing. I'll probably be showing off this Toyota Century for real. But until then, more car fixes. Alright guys, have a blessed day. Mmm, not. And that reminds me, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Jill, the one and only. Love you, dear. I also want to give a shout out to Charlotte Vienne and also Zora Z. Thank you guys for holding me down. And also, it's Ayla. Thank you. I know you're out there in Singapore at this time doing God's work, so keep up the great work, Ayan. So until then, keep reading and believing your dreams. Ciao.